In 1901, Thomas Edison invented the nickel-iron battery, which was in many aspects superior to the widely used lead-acid battery. Although more expensive to produce, the nickel-iron battery has some definite advantages. It could last for 20 to 100 years without losing its charging capacity, could be overcharged, fully discharged, left sitting for months in a discharged condition, could withstand vibration and other abuse without any damage. Edison had the idea of using this battery for the electric automobiles his company was making in those days. The batteries, also known as Edison batteries, were used also for rail cars and electric locomotives. They were so good that when the cars were removed from service, the batteries were reused in the new railroad vehicles. The batteries could be reused several times. There are even Edison electric cars at museums, and the batteries still work after 100 years. Thomas Edison produced and distributed nickel iron batteries for a while, but later sold the battery business to another company, which originally made lead acid batteries. The new company soon discontinued production of nickel iron batteries since they were not profitable due to their extremely long life. Besides, the nickel iron batteries were bulkier than the lead acid counterparts and such fact made them impractical for uses requiring more compact units. However, the Edison batteries finding new uses in renewable energy plants such as wind and solar applications where weight and size are not very important. Important. So, the Edison battery is back and is gaining strength for off-grid systems, especially high-power distribution systems. To find out more about nickel iron batteries, please follow the links I included in the video description. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.